Hey everybody, we're going to look at phase locked audio today. This is a cool feature that's really important when doing things with drum, especially multi-track drum recording. Uh, here we have this project I recorded. Let me just play a little bit for you. So we have these drums, they were recorded live in a live studio. And what we're gonna be doing is maybe wanting to quantize them or use them in a quantization process, not necessarily, but let me show you what we're doing here. So first of all, you can see these are all grouped together. And the way we group things is by selecting them and let's add a new group to these. So group number two. Over here, you'll see active groups. We'll call these drums new. And let's go into our group settings. Now you can see here with this particular group, we have some settings. So these are all the things that'll be grouped together. We can have it all hidden together if we want to uh, zoom all coordinated color, all coordinated sends pan solo record input mute volume this is the default this is all the default right here and we can actually hide them by clicking on that right there but what we want to do is choose editing and then make sure phase locked audio is connected so here's what this does it allows us if we're editing first of all editing by itself means that if we use something like a scissors tool it's going to cut everything in the group but more important is if we're doing things like quantization, uh, it'll quantize them together so that it remains locked. That means if we adjust the quantization for one of the tracks, instead of moving all of the audio in separate directions to get perfect on the grid, it'll keep it all together. Uh, that way you won't mess up any of the phase of your microphone signals and it'll keep it sounding great. It'll just change the overall timing. Uh, this is useful right here. You can see these are my Groove Master, and then I've got some of the other things slaved to it. Not everything, just a couple of the things. That means that this is acting as the master, but we could also have something else set as the master, and then these would actually line up with it. So this is a really important thing when doing time adjustments and editing of this type of track. Okay, I was just messing around with that a little bit. You can see that there was a little anomaly with which ones were set to the master groove, but now I've got those all selected back as the master and the, these things are attached to it, the bass, this JV90, uh, the Gaia, all of that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this has just been a look at using that phase locked audio function with the groups. I uh, hope that it made sense and that you enjoyed it. Make sure you like this, share it, and subscribe. See you tomorrow.